Good afternoon, cattle country. Welcome back. We've decided we're going to change the name of this channel to Guy Buys Things He Doesn't Need, but it's so much fun, though. Look at that beast. On this episode of Things Guy Didn't Need That He Bought Anyway, it's a John Deere 7430. Just, just appreciate the scale of this beast for a moment. On the right is a 7430. On the left <laughs> is our semi. It's an international, what is that, a 6400, 9400? <laughs> it's so awesome. Uh, um other minor problems while I did get in here just briefly I thought I'd bring you along for this journey I mean this thing is clean 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 certainly barn kept its entire life oh, when you have a three-step ladder to get in you know you've bought a big enough tractor problem is I don't have the foggiest clue on how to run it so I thought I'd just bring you along for this little journey on what in the world are we gonna do here? So here's what I know so far. Let's close this door. It has a buddy seat. How cool is that? A tractor with a buddy seat where I can bring Whitney and she can like have her own little view of the world. That's that's awesome. It takes a uh, regular startup procedure of any John Deere. <laughs> don't know what that means. Oh, I'm in reverse. That's what it does not like. No, I'm in park. Okay. One thing at a time here. Why are you flashing? Oh, it's, fr it's flashing at me. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's flashing at me because the air pressure is too low on the brake system, which is not a big deal. but I don't know how to run this thing. Work light presets. A, B, timer thing. Yeah, and now that the air is built up, I just heard a click, that's gone off. Okay, cool. Um, what else? This is PTO, we don't need that right now. Just figuring it out. Is it a touch screen? Maybe not. Because I'm changing my PTO settings here. It's changing on the dash. So that's all cool, I suppose. Put that in neutral for now because I just don't really know what I'm doing. Um, So, park, neutral, forward, reverse, okay. Ooh, what did I just do there? Changing stuff, this little button. Transmission set speeds, okay. Ah, okay, and I've, I've seen some of this. So as I scroll up and down, I can change the gear capability here. Twenty-two, and I can dial around now. I'm confident this tractor is smarter than I am. You can like just barely get this thing to creep it along. So as I'm clicking this back and forth, it's telling me how fast it may or may not go. I don't know how 
fast I want it to go. So there's this. What are these things here? One. That's snail. Hmm. So it's a two-handed driving tractor. Cool, cool. Well, heck, let's just find out. So, one with lever on the left. This is not the kind of tractor I think you're supposed to be filming and videoing right now. Oh, it goes backwards. Okay. Do not run over equipment trying to shoot a stupid YouTube video. Please, dummy. So far, no one has died. Man, this is, and then it breaks by itself. Okay, that's handy. That's, uh, that's actually quite cool. So, you just forward, backward, tell it you want to go fast or don't go fast. Wow, that's neat. Tractor that actually gets used for stuff trying to get your toy out. <laughs> this is without a doubt the biggest machine that I have ever driven. 166 horses of raw American horsepower. So, interesting story. I bought this tractor. Good friend of mine, Jeremy Kinneman. Jeremy, thank you for going to get it if you're out there. Randy got it for me. And I promptly had to go do a variety of other things. Work for a living, being the primary one. Take some holiday time, do some other things. Oh, she idles up. She doesn't necessarily go any faster when you do that, though. We'll see. I'm just going to take it easy. Anyway. I had to go and do some other things. So I didn't get to see this tractor for several weeks after it arrived. Okay, this is too slow. What happens if we go to two? Still Mondo Slolo. So anyway, I didn't get to see this tractor for several weeks until after it arrived. And uh, so yeah, so this is my first outing getting to see it. But if you haven't seen Clarkson's farm, on Amazon. It's really an awesome show. But everybody tells me he buys this big Ferrari German tractor and everybody in England tells them, your tractor's too big, your tractor's too big. You know what's great about America? Not one person has said that to me yet. 166 horses here, totally unnecessary horse, okay, it's kind of necessary, we need to plow, but kind of necessary horsepower. Not one single person has said that to me. However, <clears throat> similar to Jeremy Clarkson, I may or may not have any clue what I'm doing. So let's get back to how in the world do we drive this tractor. Here's a few things I've figured out. This gear shift can go to one, then go to two. This is your forward and reverse or in park. You can go to neutral, you can go forward and backward. When you use this little scrolly dealy, To scroll up and down. Maybe you gotta be in neutral. Ah, be in neutral. Then you can use the scrolly wheel. Nope. I'm changing my speeds. I can see that over here. Over here. So this is how you adjust your speed. You can kind of do that on the fly. You put this thing, let's put it in neutral. At one point I was seeing these dials change for the gear range that I had, and I'm not totally sure why or how I can or can't do that, but we'll see. Now that we're no longer in neutral, let's go fast. So, we're driving, we're creeping, right? Take this bad boy to, ah, rabbit mode? Not rabbit mode. 
out of snail to one, and then to two. Now you can see the little guys sliding up and down. I'm not going to get her way opened up here. Somewhere in the middle. Ten. That's a good number. Now I'm going to... I'm thinking my problem is throttle. And I'm noticing that these numbers or LEDs are all flashing for you guys. Air brakes. Hard stop. They're not for me. I'm going to give her some fuel. Now go to one. Ooh! That's plenty fast. <laughs> this is so awesome! This cab is enormous. Boy, that's great. Do I dare go to two? Of course we do! More power! It's actually not that much faster. One. Ease off the old throttle. Snail. Oof. Out of it. Okay. I now know how to go forward in reverse, and that's about all. Um, PTO, I know that's here. No idea what this does. Hydraulic levers, this is pretty stinking cool. Fingertips, this is raise and lower. The three point. Okay, I mean, that's not that complicated. Okay, had to step away for a brief work call, and that kind of ate the day, and now it's time to get a few other things done. I need to go see heifers that are calving and uh, and probably even do a little bit of feeding here tonight. So that's it. Enough playing for one day, but uh, man, this thing is awesome. As always, pretty much all the equipment around here is for sale. This is a 7430. It's a 2008 with 4,200 hours on it. Um, super super nice tractor super clean barn kept i'm really intending to use it for plowing the place that kelly and i bought uh here this spring but if somebody wanted to buy it then uh then they could i do have a loader on order at john deere it should be here in hopefully 60 days right richard so anyway that's what's going on uh next time somebody tells you that the tractor that you're interested in is too big the answer is no, it's not. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one.